First things first, let's give a high tier Patreon shout out to Madison, Monica, and Nick. You guys are seriously awesome. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am going to be doing the, what is this thing called? It's in here somewhere. What is it? It's the end of the year book tag. This is off to a good start. So I wanted to do this just because uh, November has a ton of stuff coming out. And I felt like this actually fits pretty well with just something I want to talk about. So let's go through these questions. So the first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? So the obvious answer to this, while I'm still reading this, is Oathbringer. I am 950 pages into it. I still have another 300 pages to go because Jesus, this book is long. Uh, but it's fantastic, so that's okay. I think right now I would still slot this between Way of Kings and Words of Radiance, but it is a very good book, and I am incredibly hyped for Rhythm of War, which, as I've said, I am reading day one. Uh, other than that, I'm going to change this a little bit, so not necessarily just books that I want to... Because I haven't really started anything that I need to go back to and finish that I've, like, DNF'd. I have some series that I want to get back to, which I actually did a video about that. But some things that I'm looking to get back to in December series-wise would be something like Book of the Ancestor. I want to finish Holy Sister. I want to get back into The Banished Lands with Faithful and the Fallen, which is Book 3, uh, Ruin. And I also want to get back to The Poppy War and read Dragon Republic at some point. I don't know if that's going to fit into December, but hopefully if not, I will get that in January. Second question is, do you have an autumnal... Autumnal? book to transition into the end of the year i don't know what the fuck that means uh i would assume this is something placed during the autumn season unless any of the books that i already have planned are in autumn i don't know uh no is there a new release you're still waiting for yes there are many so of course fires of vengeance is going to be what i'm starting to read on november 10th Assuming that Amazon gets it to me on November 10th, I am going to read Dawn Shard as soon as that's available. Hopefully before Rhythm of War, but not sure if I kind of I think it, it's going to go up soon, and I'll just have to buy the ebook because I didn't do the Kickstarter. I already talked about that. Uh, Rhythm of War, obviously November 17th, and I will be starting the preview chapters and stuff like that ahead of time. Anything that's available. Uh, I also want to get to I'm this is a bunch of books. I also want to get to uh, Ready Player Two, which possibly will be part of December, if not January, because I really enjoyed Ready Player One, and I want to see why it has a sequel, because I have no idea. Uh, and then also The Burning God, but I do need to read Dragon Republic first, so that will take a backseat for now. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? I feel like these questions are very similar to each other. Uh, maybe that just happens to be because of the books that I'm planning on reading, but... Obviously, Rhythm of War, Fires of Vengeance, like the new stuff that's coming out. Um, ever since Brian Lee Durfee sent me autographed copies of The Forgetting Moon and... Shit, what's the second book called? I watched so many of his videos and I forgot the second book, The Blackest Heart. Wow, that's embarrassing. Ah! Um, so The Forgetting Moon, I really want to get to that. And that's going to be part of my December reads, I believe. Because I've heard fantastic things about it. Brian is super awesome. And I want to see his actual writing style because I feel like if he's based on who he's inspired to write his novels by, I have a strong feeling that I'm going to like it a lot. And then seeing him, uh, seeing his work compared so much to The Faithful and the Fallen, but more dense, more violent, more full of descriptions and, thing, and things like that, it almost sounds like it might strike a balance between John Gwynn's writing and something like our Robert Jordan. So I definitely want to read that. And I have a couple of people in Discord that have read it and or are reading it and are loving it. So that gives me a lot of hope that it's going to be awesome. So Forgetting Moon and all the new releases and stuff that I've already talked about a bunch. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? So probably, I mean, Words of Radiance ended up being my one of the best fantasy books that I've ever read. And I believe I said that was my favorite book of the year, but I also read Dune, which is way up there. I also read all of Mistborn and Red Rising. So, I mean, there is, I'll have to do another video of like the, the best books that I've read this year, like part two, because I did one halfway through the year. I've read a bunch of things that I would 
rate very highly as far as like the best book that I've read. I would say Fires of Vengeance could be up there. As much as I love Rage of Dragons, I'm not sure that it would be it would really compete for the top spot maybe the sequel will rhythm of war is the obvious one um i mean obviously any any book that i get to could be i mean the next dresden book could be possibly but i think realistically it's either fires of vengeance or rhythm of war and have i started making reading plans for 2021 so obviously yes uh, i will be doing the malazan or malazan however you're supposed to say it read along over at mike's book reviews channel because i want to get into that and i do have gardens of the moon already um other than that i don't know i may do the uh black company read along with slowly red's channel i'll link his channel down below that's a bit of a shorter series at least the first couple of books are uh so i might join that Otherwise, I will be getting back to and wrapping up series that I haven't finished yet. So, like, finishing The Faithful and the Fallen, uh, book four at least, if I hadn't gotten to it by December. Um, what else have I started that I want to get back to? Obviously, I'll be continuing Dresden, because I have a ton of those books to read. I need to get back to Wheel of Time. I stopped after book five, and I've taken several months off. I need to get back to that. And now that I will have wrapped up Stormlight for the time being, I, the entire Cosmere will be in my back pocket. I can really focus on, shit, do I really want to do Malazan and Wheel of Time in the same year? Oh, God, I'm the worst. Ugh. But yeah, I guess mostly continuing Dresden, probably getting back into Wheel of Time, doing Malazan. God, that just sounds terrible. I'm going to say Malazan. I don't like Malazan. I'm sorry. I'm going to say Malazan. So Malazan, getting back into Wheel of Time, continuing Dresden, probably getting to some... Joe Abercrombie, for sure. That is absolutely happening, uh, finally. I'm going to get to that and just wrap up the other series that I haven't done yet or haven't finished yet. So that's going to do it for what I am already, like, initially planning for 2021. Um, but, yeah, so these are just some some fun, quick questions to go through. Wanted to fit this video in this week to kind of give you all an, a you know glimpse into the future in addition to my TBR for November that... If you haven't seen that, that's up here. But that is going to do it for this video. So like and subscribe as always. Join the Patreon if you do want to support the channel and you do enjoy the content. Always optional, but always appreciated. But please jump in Discord. Uh, we are, I believe, over 100 members now. It's been up for about a month. And just a lot of great people, a lot of great conversations. It's a lot of fun and one of the best parts of my day. So join us there if you want to continue the conversation. And of course, always leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of books you are about to read, what you think might be a new favorite, what you're reading next year. I'd love to know. So until next time, guys, keep reading.